This is Kirk Yang, an analyst in Taiwan. You gotta listen to this. This is MXUX. This is a quick video. This is a three minute video of an analyst from a year ago on CNBC talking about Han Hai, who is Lordstown Motors' um, joint venture partner now. Now, I want everyone that's a hodler of uh, Lordstown Motors and that is, you know, looking at uh, the stock to take a listen to this because this really explains very concisely what I've been talking about for the last 10 videos. Now, uh, a lot of this depends on execution, and that's where we are now. But just take a listen. I'm going to pause this if I, if I need to make a comment. I have uh, subtitles down below. Catalyst for Hong Hai. And EV is the catalyst. If you look the whole okay, that says EV, battery electric vehicle, is the new catalyst for Han Hai. Han Hai share price. The share price got stuck in the seventy eighty dollar range for the most of last year. We're going to this year because it's play on EV, because it's a MIH platform. The EV story alone raised Hong Hai's share price from 70, 80 to 120, 130. Okay. Just the EV mentioned, you know, has uh what um not quite doubled uh let's say um uh, you know, 40% increase. No, more than that um, on the Han High stock price. Now, now listen to how they're going to pivot the company from uh, cell phones to uh, battery electric vehicles. And just when they meant when they developed the, this strategy, the stock price has gone up. Han High was uh, just let me recalibrate that. They were stuck in a trading range. They're not going to have organic growth. They need to have a new product line. The new product line is better electric vehicles. The critical player in that product line development is Lordstown Motors. Who is going to show them how to do it? It's Lordstown Motors. Pretty up more than fifty percent, five zero. So I would say. Every investor Hong Hai is looking for the EV story, the execution on EV. So I think that's actually the most important thing for Hong Hai share price. The other thing is that the new chairman, I shouldn't say new, the Yang Liu took over chairman position last year. The chairman Yang Liu is very different from the previous chairman Terry Guo because Yang Liu wanted to change Hong Hai from the largest country manufacturer in the world to more technology focused, such as 5G, such as semiconductor, like you mentioned, about the joint venture, such as more high tech type of products like uh, uh, sure. I, AI, for example. So we're looking for higher margin going forward. Sure. You talk about the record sales for Hong Hai, but I think the even right. better news is that we expect to see higher margins for Hong Hai because product mix that should help. I'd say in Hong Kong, you know, that's Han Hai. And I just want to mention with the change of uh, CEOs as well at Han Hai. The prior uh, founder, Terry Gao, was um, really, uh, I, w I would say, more pro-China. Uh, of course, he, he developed all his manufacturing in China. I think the new uh, CEO of Han Hai is looking outside of China. And, again, pivoting the company. Although the prior CEO plays a major role in all this, believe me. Uh, he's on the board and so forth. Uh, but uh, let's just move forward. And they're talking about the product mix here, and that product mix is battery electric vehicles. Help the Hong Hai share price going forward. Sure. Right. So how is it that the market is not capturing that diversification and pick up in margins, Kirk? And you highlighted the stock price movement. Now, for the very short term, but you know, if you stretch the graph to five years, you look at a Hon Hai precision over a TSMC or a UMC, and this one is really lagging. So there's lack of conviction in their business strategy. Why is that? Yeah, Tamir, that's a very good point, and that's the problem for Hon Hai. Hon Hai has the largest sales in Taiwan, even more than TSMC. So for Hon Hai to grow, it needs new product, not organic. If you look at Hon Hai's history, Every time Hong Hai has a new product line, the stock get re-rated or go up. 
For example, it did PS2, PS3 game consoles. It did Cisco routers. Then, of course, iPhone. But the iPhone was more than 10 years ago. For, for the last 10 years, there were no new products to boost Honghai sales. That's why Honghai share price been pretty flat for three, five years, even last year. But I think this year, investors recognize that EV, electric vehicle, could be the next iPhone-like of revenue profit booster for Honghai. That's how we see the share price did pretty well the last few months. Obviously, pull back a little bit on profit taking, but I do think that investors are quite confident that EV is the next iPhone, the next router, or next networking product for Honghai. So, quite so you can see how critical the battery electric vehicle push is for Honghai, is for their stock. Um, this is an international strategist here and so forth, and he's speaking from uh, Taiwan, I believe, and this is on uh, CNBC Global. But, all right, let's separate Lordstown out of Hanhai. Hanhai is, uh, you know, this is their, they're all in on this, okay? And where are they going to do it? They're going to do it in Lordstown. And who are they going to do it with? They're going to do it with Lordstown Motors. And who is going to now, they're experts at manufacturing and sourcing and supply lines and just-in-time inventory and global distribution and so forth. But when it comes, and they have developed uh, the MIH platform, which is a conceptual platform. It is not in mass production. Uh, it's not engineered, I, I would say, right now for mass production. Lordstown Motors has a vehicle just weeks, I would say, away from mass production. Battery electric vehicle. They're going to transfer that knowledge to the MIH platform. And I think Hub Motors are going to be involved here in some way. Uh, but in other words, uh, Lordstown Motors is going to take the MIH platform from concept to manufactured item, okay? And it's the engineering at Lordstown Motors that's going to do that. And they're also going to uh, develop two more vehicles uh, under the MIH agreement they have now for Han Hai. And uh, as I say, Lordstown Motors has two more vehicles ready to go on the same platform uh, as the Endurance, and those are the high-top van for which they have the uh, soft dies to stamp the body panels, and they have that thing engineered out. They're ready to launch it. It would have been in alpha or beta stage right now, uh, probably crash testing had there have not been financial setbacks at Lordstown. The second I, uh, thing, and this is uh, foreshadowed by the uh, military demonstration vehicle at Lordstown Week, is a three-row SUV. Again, on the endurance platform. These are all loaded, ready to go. They're saying, why is the stock price uh, in, in uh, Taiwan... Uh, level they want execution this is how they're going to get it the proof of concept of everything is going to be the endurance first these other projects and the commercialization of the mih platform which i believe uh, lordstown motors is going to take it from you know a a beta stage Let's say it's at beta now, and it's going to take it into pre-production and production. Okay, let's just watch the end of this. Quite optimistic, but the but problem, actually, as you see that investors should still want to see the actual evidence. We have very good plan, very good outlook, but investors want to see the real product, the real numbers. So I have to deliver on a lot of promises mm. going forward. Okay, this is what the investors want to see. They want to see... The real product. What is the real product? What is the word first real product that's going to come out of uh, Han Hai's uh, BEV efforts? It's going to be the endurance. Okay? They're going to build the endurance. And I think this should put everything into perspective of how important the endurance is to Han Hai. And it is, of course, important to Lordstown 
I think this really gives a lot of perspective on what the heck is going on. Uh, it gives you a Google Maps view of pulling out of America and looking at the global view of this project. Uh, again, I think uh, this is really good information to take a look at before the stockholders meeting uh, coming up tomorrow. Let me just let this finish out. Four. Okay, that, that was actually the end of it. So, a lot of promises going forward. They want to see the evidence. And that is the Lordstown Endurance. All right.